So we're going to have a look at uh, 3D plots now. So instead of just having a, a single line, this will be a 3D surface. It's very similar in, in form to a normal plot, but we do splot instead of plot, S-P-L-O-T. So again, we're in the, the folder with the, the files that we're going to use. We type splot gap 1s0. This is just a, a test file that I'm using to demonstrate this. So if you press tab, it will actually come up with all the files that start with the name that you've, you've typed so far. Um, so if you can't remember the name of a file, just type the first part, press tab, and it will give you your options there, auto-completing as much as it can. Uh, very, very handy. Nice little shortcut. So once we press plot, what we end up having is, is this pretty awful plot here. Um, it's just all of these data points. Um, you can sort of see the form of it, but it's, it's not very good. So we'll, as we did in the previous section, do a WL, so with lines. And that's a little better, but it's, it's still monochromatic. Very difficult to really see any structure here as to what's going on. Luckily, it's very easy to change that. So what we do is we set PM3D. This is a particular type of, of plot. Um, it, when actually forming the data file, you need to make sure you leave a, a blank gap between columns if you're going to be using PM3D. So we replot that. We see we now have this color scale on the, on the right hand side here. And that's been automatically set based on, on our data points. So it's not always 0 to 6. That's just because that's the data that we have here. Let's get rid of that red horrible mesh. So unset surface. And then replot. And this is much better than we, we had before. So now we can see a, a lot more clearly where this peak actually is. And that color gradient really gives us a, a feel for how quickly uh, that, that sort of gradient ascends. By doing a set view map, we'll put it in a, in a, in a map-esque mode. So instead of it being that 3D rotating uh, graph we had just now, we can, we can look as, as if from above. And particularly when using PM3D, it's very handy, as you can see here. So now it's very, very clear to see how far uh, how far out this actual feature stretches. So setting size square now. Uh, what that does is makes the the actual graph square. Particularly when using the same values on the x and y axis, this can make it a, a lot clearer uh, as to where things are happening. We're also going to set contours, which just like on a normal map will will give us ISO ISO rings, as you can see just there. So that's telling us where that five ring is, uh, where that four ring is, just like a, a hillside on, on an actual normal map. And this gives us a lot of information very clearly now. Very easy for us to, to make some qualitative and quantitative assessments of this graph. So I'm just going to unset contours, take the, the contours off, and I'm going to adjust that, that Y range, zoom in on this area of interest. So as with a, a 2D plot, we set Y range to whatever we want, in this case 0 to 4. But we're actually going to put it in a log scale. Very uh, very simple using a log scale for this for this color board. So set log scale CB. So those colors you, you have on the right there, so now going from, from 0 to 6, uh, this is actually going, in, in this case it's set from 1 times 10 to minus 25 uh, up to about a million. Uh, and that's, uh, uh, I mean, that, that can be clearer, but, but personally I prefer with this graph to unset the log scale CB, and that will take it back to this linear scale that we had before. Again, same as with a 2D plot, we can set our title. I'm going to call this a, a 3D plot. Uh, I think that makes, makes sense as a title. And while we're at it, uh, we may as well set an X label as well. 
make this graph look as nice and professional as possible. And of course we'll set the, the Y label just for completeness. Let's replot that, have a look at our new graph. And here we go, we have a immediately a nicely labelled figure uh, with an automatically scaled uh, colour board on, on the right hand side. Just gonna trim that X range down again. Really zoom in on that, that area of interest. And here we go, it's uh, still a, a square and, and what we have is, is very clearly now from above where exactly those features are happening. And this is much better than we, we had before. So now we can see uh, a lot more clearly where this peak actually is. And that colour gradient really gives us a, a feel for how quickly uh, that, that sort of gradient ascends.